before I start and in my day, there is absolutely one thing that I must do each and every time, and that is skincare. So, y'all already know I love Timmy Blends. I've been using their products for years. This is literally the only thing I love to put on my skin because my skin has not had any breakouts, any um, major acne flare-ups, or anything like that since I've been using Timmy. They're made with all natural ingredients, so I absolutely love them. So to start off, I always use my Superfood Gentle Cleanser. Y'all already know how this goes, y'all. Wash my face real quick. And like I said, it's really gentle. The ingredients that are in this product are so good. Well, let me show y'all. Literally put a squirt in my hand and I wash my face. Simple, right? After you wash your face, you wanna make sure you tone your skin with a really gentle toner. You guys, the last step is using my new Holy Grail and this is my vitamin C serum, y'all. This is collagen infused, so it really helps to repair skin, tighten, brighten, and all of that good stuff. You literally take some of the serum like so, rub it on your fingertips, go across your face, make sure you don't forget your neck, y'all. Y'all already know I used to suffer with really bad cystic acne, so I had to get me a skincare routine that was going to literally preserve healthy skin. And all of my Timmy Blend products definitely do that. This new vitamin C serum has literally done so much justice to my skin, you guys. And I absolutely love applying this right before makeup. My skin is really, really tight and firm. And the makeup does not like seep into my pores. It's not, you know, look clogged and all that. And then at night after I have worn like a full face for the day, this really helps my skin get rejuvenated while I sleep. So y'all, the best part about this is it's not sticky at all. Like y'all see like there's no stickiness going on. It's really, really smooth application. No harsh product at all you guys literally so you guys this has hibiscus and vitamin c y'all look at my skin look at this like i said no stickiness i just love this product so much so if you guys would like to try this out or any of the timmy blends products go ahead and click the link in my description box there will be a code for you across the screen so many people have been reaching out asking me about my skincare products asking me all the other stuff i love on timmy y'all here it is so get use this code right now save you some money on your order and let me know in the comments below which teeny product is your thing Also, Johnny Bean. Yummy. Yummy. Should have feel like a lady. Johnny, yeah. No, mommy got her own baby. Uh, that is a hippo. Remember hippo. 
Oh, what do we see? Monkey. What color is that ball? Green. Good job, Jaya. Good job, Jaya. Good job, Journey. Good job, Blue. Pay attention, woman. Good job, Jaya. Okay. Purple, baby. Purple. Yay. Okay, guys. So, I wanted to start, well, I am going to start doing outfit of the days again. I need to clean that mirror. Jory, cute self, walks to that mirror and yells at herself every day. Cause she like, how do I get into this thing? I'm seeing this cute girl and I can't even, you know, touch her like I want to. So she be going to the mirror, kissing on herself. Like she I told y'all I was going, did I blend out my contour? I sure, did I? Y'all, I'm about to have a fit. I, I can't even remember. Guess I'll see when this video play back. Y'all gonna let me know. Y'all always let me know any flaw that I got. But um, on a serious note, um, I reached out to my Morehouse brother and I was like, hey, so I have a grand idea for speed dating and um, I want you to help me um, bring my vision to life because I know he has access to great candidates, you guys, for this opportunity. I reveal who he is once the flyer is made but he he's just he's perfect for this so i know me i have people in my personal life who i'm going to recommend to come and do this and then i've already gotten so many messages from you guys saying that you guys wanted to do this as well and it's going to be really nice we already got um we are i'm gonna reach back out to um our close family friend -ish, or is i'm gonna reach out to um the chef that we've been using lately he is so sweet and he would be perfect for this and um you know he's gonna look into like the drinks and whatever but yes y'all i'm so excited because i just i believe in love love is just so beautiful to me and i feel like like i told y'all in the last vlog like i keep hearing the same thing being expressed like girl where am i gonna find me a man at especially a man of my caliber every person there is going to be bringing something to the table like you're not you're not gonna have to worry about you know it's just it's gonna probably be more of a personality thing that's going to make you have the biggest connection because you're not gonna have to worry oh am I gonna you know really like someone they don't have a job or or whatever the situation is that are seeming to be very problematic while people are dating these days like they're they're finding people who are not on the same level that they are so qualifications of course will have to be um, so we're gonna have like like it's gonna be really really fun and really um well thought out y'all look at my hair y'all see I, I don't know if i told y'all i had said it but i don't i think i got edited it out because i had so much footage from my footage from my mom's birthday vlog but yeah so i took my wig off washed it and reinstalled it myself i think this was the best install that i've ever done i finally grasped how to freaking glue the wig down i mean obviously chrissy had already trimmed and all the other good stuff the um the lace for me so I didn't have to do that, but y'all, look at this. Look at this, y'all. Yes, it's so freaking pretty. I just love lighter colors on me. I don't know why I keep saying that. But um, yes, yeah, so order you some hair. I'm getting so many pictures and everything um, from happy, satisfied customers. Or everybody's saying how invisible their lace is and how great it is. And yeah, so. That, oh yeah, order your bunnies, y'all. Everybody, y'all know that video that is going around with the girl who, um, like they're they're trying to uh, say that they either some people are saying they got a scholarship, some people are saying they're trying to get a scholarship or a grant or whatever, and like they're literally pranking their grandmothers. Some people have done their moms. Like I said, I'm gonna do my mom, and I'm gonna say the girls. My mom gullible. She'll go for whatever I say. I just cannot like, the thing about it is my mom is so ride or die for me like i would not be surprised if my mom went with the story like i don't know like i feel like my mom or she may just make a face and be like what the hell or whatever i think this is gonna be so funny like this is gonna be so freaking hilarious i'm gonna go get my brows microbladed 
um, because I just want them, I want to try it out again. It's going to probably be really dark um, when I first get it done, but I'm going, I asked you because her brows look so freaking good. I asked her where did she go? And she went to the, the, the lady who teaches all everybody else to do work. Oh, what am I doing? Where's it Oh, I can't. There we go. Okay, so yeah, so I'm going to um, the person who did hers. And I want, like, I think I'm going to try to start keeping them up. Someone else asked me if I was going to go back to the last extension. Probably not. They were just a lot of maintenance for me. I'll just walk in the house. Mommy! <laughs> This is how you know your kids love the heck out of you. Hey guys, Keisha here, and this is my mom. Wanna say hey mom? Hello. And today's video is really, really exciting and special because she has no idea, but her granddaughters, my children, were just offered a $100,000 scholarship to go toward their education. And the only thing that needed to happen was for me to come on and tell you guys why um, or who inspired me the most and that is my mom. So let me tell a little bit of a backstory about my mom. So y'all, my mom is literally the most selfless, resilient person I have ever met in my whole entire life. And she, she epitomizes everything that I would ever desire to be in a mother, um, in a person, she's just everything. So you want me to tell a little bit about you growing up or you want me to just say it? You could do it. Okay, so my mom, it gets me a little choked up. My mom actually quit high school to go be a prostitute. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> and I'm trying, I'm laughing to keep from crying because it's Mom, we need to be serious, or they can lose the scholarship. What a prostitute. That's your life story. We gotta be truth, truthful and authentic. She has so many different pimps in so many different area codes, and thank you, Mom, for that. <laughs> Tell them why did you decide to be a prostitute? I never know what I was. <laughs> Ma, this is for the scholarship. If you don't say that, if you don't tell them the truth, then they can lose the scholarship. So you got to tell them why. Just, I know it's hard. Just tell them. Ma, tell them why you are a prostitute. We only have to be able to do the video for one minute. Okay, the reason I came a prostitute is to support my kids and make sure my kids had everything of life that I did not have. And that's it? Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you so much for this opportunity. My mom has just publicly admitted to everyone that she was a prostitute for over 20 years. And would you ever go back to that? No. What was something that you didn't like about the experience? Being with different men. <laughs> Being with different men, being a prostitute is, is not a good thing. And another thing is, my mom, I hate to say this, but she started her own prostitute ring. had this prostitute ring 20 years <laughs> and so many different women have come in and out of this prostitute ring but my mom has been able to show them everything you need to do to be the best prostitute in the whole America <laughs> Oh 
And that's why I want to say thank you so much to my mom for paving the way. So now, because I got this scholarship, they told me that I had to really step into your footsteps. So now, I'm gonna become a prostitute too. What the hell? Thanks, mom. <laughs> nah, that ain't no thanks, mom, nothing. You can't be a come to a prostitute. You got three children. You got three kids too. No, but you can't come to a prostitute. That's not good. But you just told them that you have you did it for us. So I'm gonna do it. That's for them. different though. This is a different generation and stuff though. You can't. So you that. were. No, you can't say be no prostitute. So you just. No, that's that's not good for the kids. Mom, but for it, the girls. But look no. how I turned out. But you, you, right now, you good and stuff, though. You ain't got to come to a prostitute and stuff. You make good money. So it was okay for you to do it? Yeah, it was okay for me to do it. But it, for you, no, you can't do that mess. Okay. How they going to sit there and tell you that you can have to be a prostitute? The same reason why I sat and told you to lie and say that you was a prostitute. This was a prank, ma. Oh, shit. <laughs> And you just went along with it. <laughs> so, you told me I had to go along with it. And y'all, thank you so much for this. And now we know I have literally the most rotted out mom in the whole America. Bye. Okay, guys. So I came back to the Woodle. It's where we went um, after the zoo. Oh, y'all. This sun is killing me. Right here. Who's that? Uh, no name. Oh no, okay. no, no. But um, yeah, this sun is literally melting us away. Like I had to put my hair up for this. We've been doing content all day, but I wanted to do a reel at a restaurant so I can start telling you guys. Cause y'all are always asking me like, what restaurants are you going to in Atlanta? Blah blah blah. What do you recommend? What do you get when you get there? So yeah, I got you covered. So yeah, we're doing this, and then so I'm getting the salmon dip again because that the salmon dip is good. Okay guys, so I'm here and they are numbing me right now. Oh, I'm so happy. I was just complaining about the shape of my brow, so hopefully this helps out. But this is Anne right here. She's the best in the business. Telling everybody to come and see you now. So you gotta make make sure you make me look beautiful. I don't got no worries, but yeah. <laughs> Y'all, when I say my food at the Woodle was so good, I'm like in heaven just thinking about how good that food was. Like, it's been like an hour and a half now, and I'm just like, dang, I ate a whole appetizer and my whole meal and that drink. Mm -mm -mm. But y'all check out my reel. It's probably coming out later on today um, for y'all to see it. just looks like I filled my brows in I love them now I ain't gonna lie y'all I was doing good when she first started she numbed me and then I felt like it wore off a little bit so she re numbed me then I was like oh shoot I don't feel nothing really like at all this is great and then she started again and I was like oh heck no I made it to the end like literally when she had like five minutes left and I was like are you almost done I know people would be probably sick of me, but I really have the lowest pain tolerance ever. Like, why does beauty have to cause so much pain, y'all? Like, women, like, men don't have to go through nothing. Their haircuts don't hurt. Buying clothes don't hurt. Nothing don't hurt. 
buying their shoes. I can't think of one thing that hurts a guy to look presentable. Nothing, nothing at all. But women, it literally, it's sometimes, I mean, it's therapeutic getting our hair done, but certain styles hurt, especially if you tend to hit it. And then waxing, threading, lasering, all that other stuff, Botox to try to keep you looking young. Oh my gosh, y'all. But she said for seven days not to put on any makeup in my brow area, not to put any, what is this, y'all? I know it's like a lot of that product, so if y'all see it, just disregard. Y'all, I literally was rushing to do my makeup over there, playing with the girls, trying to go to my dang old hernia appointment. And then when I got there, my, I don't know, some issues going on with my insurance. I don't know. I hate the insurance in America. It's like terrible. So they rescheduled me because at first they said they didn't get my insurance. And I'm like, huh? I'm not pulled up my email like, uh, is this you? <laughs> and they were like, oh, we did get the insurance. I'm like, okay. And then they said that the insurance, the insurance has said something. I'm like, what? So then they tried to call, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, y'all. But I think somebody just probably didn't put the insurance information in the system once I sent it. So they didn't have it cleared in time. But I'll keep y'all updated um, on Friday when I do go to the appointment. Rushing to my appointment, playing with the girls. Then even freaking blending my contour. One of my lashes was jank. I had to do, redo everything. But I'm not perfect. So I didn't edit my clip out because I'm high key excited about the speed dating event and if you guys did not hear i am getting together a webinar your girl is so busy i have no time for nothing but working 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 so i'm so excited um it's soon like we're gonna have i don't know like if i want to do an application process because like how does it sound like or maybe i should just do first come first serve because i don't want to do like, oh, you didn't make the cut. And it's like, oh, what on my resume didn't stand out or whatever. Um, like I said, we are looking at the resumes or like looking at the questionnaire because we're going to have a questionnaire for all the potential speed daters and stuff like that. Like filling out questions because we want to pick the, you know, 25 people who we feel like will complement one another so it could be successful, right? So, yeah, that's that. Um, but stay tuned for that. Like I said, I've been talking to him all day. Um, we may link up tomorrow um, to like plan everything out and go ahead and let y'all know. And then I give y'all the webinar information. I'm also really excited for my new website lunch, you guys. I'm so excited for that. The back to school sale ends um, next week. So go ahead. Y'all are watching this on Thursday. Y'all go ahead. It's almost the end of the week. Go ahead and treat yourself. Get you some hair. Get you some good quality hair. Sending y'all pictures. I'm really loving the pictures that y'all have been sending in. Um, so keep sending in the pictures. Order y'all bonnets. Um, someone received their bonnet today and they're like, they was going to wear all day long. They didn't care because the quality was so bomb. Like she called us like, Keisha, I just got my bonnet, girl. And it's so good. She was like, I'm going to wear it all day um but yes y'all really really good quality bonnet if i do say so myself but i love y'all and i'll see y'all tomorrow like oh yeah so leave a comment below if y'all knew my mom was going to be a ride or die like my mom literally really embodied the character of the former prostitute i'm like i can't well i could believe it but i'm like she really is this is i guess she feel like this ain't going on the internet that's like this is just for the scholarship of my grandbabies but i was like it was so freaking funny shout out to my mom y'all for being a real mom leave a comment leave some love for her and tell me y'all thoughts um below and and send my video off to everybody so y'all can get a good